is a natural resource specialist. I work on the Columbia River and I work on the Snake River. You guys know where the Snake River is? You do, right? Just you? You know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, you know where the Snake is. You go fishing on it. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit of wildlife because when we put those dams in the river, all these animals were all living there and they needed a place to live, right? Everybody needs a place to live. So, when we put the dams in, they said to the Army Corps of Engineers, you have to take care of these animals and give them a place to live. So, that's my job, is to find habitat for these animals that you guys, that we're going to talk about here today. Where do you guys usually find traps? You guys know what traps are? What do you find? On the ground? In the mud? Mud's a pretty good place to find a track, right? You ever walk around in the mud? Get your foot stuck in it? That's an animal track. I like playing in the mud. Soft ground, muddy, moist. Well, we're not going to draw animal tracks today. But we will talk about them. And I have that for you guys. Can you hear it? Can't hear it? There's the volume on it. Anybody got yellow teeth like that besides me? 
This is why I have to chew. Because they don't chew these teeth down, they just keep growing and growing. I don't know if you guys, but I lost my teeth a long time ago. When I was a kid, don't they just fall out every once in a while? Yeah. Yeah, did you lose one? Just recently? That's a good thing. So, beaver life. What do beaver eat? Eight trees, right? They eat the bark. There's a beaver house. Beaver life. Beaver lodge. You guys see where the water comes in? Here's the lodge. Way up here. Here's one of the slides that gets into it. Here's the other one. That's the way to get in and out. You guys see the beaver? Right there. Usually the water is pretty high, so you can swim underneath, live in there, not even be water. You want some wet feet? Wet feet are good for what? Here's, 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 here's. It's a question mark. It's a goose. Oh, okay. That's a goose, you're right. These are geese, right? This is the Canada goose. Notice the black head, the little white mouth. These are Canada geese eggs. Yeah, we can get down here and come up and see how big they are. <laughs> Canada geese, they like to lay their eggs on the ground, right? So when they build the dams, they've lost all their place to live to nest on the ground. So the, my job, part of my job, is to provide goose nests. So we have plenty of geese living around. There's a, there's a baby goose, right? Those are goslings, yellow fuzzy balls. There's some more fuzz. You guys like baby geese? They're down at the store right now. You can go buy some, huh? I bought them. Huh? No, I... I like the little baby animals. No, these were all dead and we had, I just have them as a presentation for you guys. So you guys can get a feel for what they are, how important they are to you and to us as a society. I There's some baby fuzz. They're about to hatch, huh? Why do you guys think they fly around in this formation. That's a V formation. What do you think? Huh? So they can fly easier. Is that what you were going to say? That was it? It's true. This guy right here is flying the hardest. All these guys are just, what do they call it? Riding on the coat. It's a lot easier to fly behind something than it is to fly straight into the wind. That's why they fly like that. Geese have wet toes. Why? Because they can swim. This is 
what's called a pelt. It's just the fur of the coyote, the skin. But these, have you guys ever seen coyotes? No. Oh, no. Uh-oh. My computer died. It died? Have you guys seen coyotes? No. Yes. What do you know about coyotes? What do they remind you of? What other animal reminds you of a coyote? A wolf? A dog? Right? Same kind of family. They all got four legs. They like chewing on things. What do coyotes eat? Meat. Rabbits? Mice? They like little mice. This is a coyote pelt. Imagine a coyote sitting here. He's being real quiet. He sees something he wants to eat. So what does he do? He attacks. He attacks. <laughs> you got attacked by a coyote. Did you beat up the coyote? You want to pet it? <laughs> Coyotes can jump up to 14 feet in the air. You guys know how high that is? If you throw my coyote back, you must be hungry because look how skinny he is. It's pretty soft, huh? You want to pet it too? We're down with the geese, huh? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, okay. 14 feet. Okay. Coyotes have great stamina, right? You know what stamina is? Stamina. Stamina means that they can continually run for an awful long time. Without getting tired. How long can you guys run? An hour? Half an hour? 15 miles? I can run one whole trail. I can run around the block, depending on how small the block is. And then I get tired. Coyotes can run 400 miles. Does that sound like a long way? Okay, that's a this right here is a coyote dead. Have you guys seen one? A little hole in the ground with a lot of dirt. Because they dug it out. That's where they're sitting, right? There's some baby coyotes. Those are pretty scary, aren't they? Did you know these will bite you? Yeah, you just as much as the geese will bite you. What else? Oh. Excuse me. Sounds like a frog. That one? Anything else? Anybody? Anybody? What do you think it is? A beaver? Maybe. A bear? Maybe. A bear. It's none of those. It's another question mark. That was a mule deer. That was a deer. Do you want to hear it again? Badger. 
shooter out at night, but they still have this stripe on them, right? A lot of animals. They can see the night. A lot of animals smell it. They see it. They see these two different colors, and they know this thing is is giving them a warning. Hey, I'm a skunk. Don't try to eat me because I'm gonna spray you. If you get sprayed by a skunk, you gotta need a lot of tomato sauce. Right? A lot of tomato sauce to get that stuff off. Look. But I'd save you guys the trouble of smelling it. That's what a skunk track looks like. So if you're out walking around looking for tracks, go ahead and track that one down. Okay, I'm about done. My presentation, take away. Take only pictures. Leave only tracks. And get outdoors, because it's yours. Right? It's all public land, that's you guys. So, come on out. Okay, I'm done. If you want some tattoos, I got tattoos here. If you want to come up and pet the animals, come up and pet the animals. Be very...